Hello, it's Monday the 16th of September. Summer is still here. The days are nice, the warm weather is out. Uh, and today I'm having a day out on Southern by the seaside. I've bought myself a day save ticket. This is a Southern Rover ticket. So I've decided to buy one and travel on it and tick off as many seaside stations on Southern as I can. I'll explain, but I'm at Goring on sea, sea, uh, and I've got to get my train, which I can see is coming in now. So I'm sat on the steps of Darrington Seat Station. I've done Goring, 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 and Darrington already on my day save ticket. I have to really quickly explain what this is. Loads of train operating companies across the country uh, have what they call rail rovers and rail ranger tickets. And Southern, I didn't think had one at all until if you click through, because it's not even mentioned on the National Rail website for rangers and rover tickets, this ticket isn't mentioned. It's sort of, it's hidden under special offers or if you know about it and you Google it and you find it on the Southern website, there is what they call uh, a Southern only day save ticket. Uh, and essentially it's unlimited travel on all Southern services. Note, it's not GTR services, so it's like not Thameslink or Gatwick Express, it's just Southern, it's pure Southern. It's only after 10 o'clock and that's it. You can travel around on the Southern network for a whole day and it's just 20 pounds. Uh, should just point out, GTR have not asked me to make this video. They have not paid for my ticket. I have paid for this ticket myself. I'm doing this of my own volition. The other interesting thing is that you can't buy it from a ticket office or a ticket machine. That's so important. I'll say it again. You can't buy it from a ticket office or a ticket machine. You have to buy it online from their website. On the southernrailway.com website, you go to tickets in the menu and then select ticket types, day save, scroll down to buy day save now, choose day save again, at which point you type in the date that you want to travel. And when you pay, you choose if you want to collect it from a station or do what I did and have it posted to you. And then you just wait for the postman to turn up. Uh, I've now got to Shoreham, I'm gonna get out at this point my map and when I was considering this and basically this is a self-imposed challenge what I like about it is that southern services basically do serve the seaside I've even caught myself this morning humming the tune oh I do like to be beside the day save that's irrelevant uh, what I then came up with I know what I then came up with was thinking all right, all right with this ticket with the day save ticket how many stations uh, could I visit that I've got the word sea or something seasidey related in the title? So, here we go on the map. I can see Goring by Sea, Durrington by Sea. I've got to where I am now here. That's Shoreham by Sea. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Hill Sea and Portsmouth and South Sea. I'm not counting because they're uh, Southwestern Railway stations and not Southern stations. Uh, keep going east. I'm going to change at Brighton, get some lunch, come through Lewis, go down to Seaford. On the way back, stop at New Haven Harbour. Harbour's a sea word. Also, be interested to see what uh, has happened to the latest to New Haven Marine. Uh, keep on going round. I've then got to go to Pevensey Bay, which is really awkward. It's an awkward station, and you get like peak hour trains, two or three a day. Uh, Norman's Bay is then quite tricky. Coolham Beach later on this afternoon, this evening, and then, just when you think it's over, there's one more on the Hastings up to Ashford line. There's then Winchell Sea. So we'll see if we can tick off all those stations. And the rule is that I've got to get out at them, so I'm not just stopping at them. I'm doing the rule where you actually have to get out and then get back on uh, a different train and make the most of my day save ticket. Here's where I'm at. I'm going to tick off what we've done. We've done Goring, and then Darrington, Shoreham, currently at Brighton, and we're heading east to Seaford. time at 1.46 at Seaford. Uh, it stands here for five minutes and then goes back. Another one to tick off with the word C in the title. Oh, 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 oh,
Thanks. Bye. 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 See ya. We've uh, made a detour from our seaside day out. Oh, I do like to be beside the day side to New Haven Harbour. It's worth clicking here. Uh, if you've never seen, uh, in 2011, me and Vicky just came down on a random Friday evening. Before the stations, before I really started making YouTube videos on a regular basis, I just fancied making a, uh, a random video about the weirdness that was the ghost train of New Haven Marine. You can, that's like, it's like an early Jeff and Vicky video, if you've never seen it, do that. Uh, and if you compare that to what's happening here now, and basically the reason why there are these uh, signs up talking about a four day line closure is because that signal box is going, it's, all the signalling is being automated around here, but there's one very particular thing that I can see there that has changed, uh, which I'm going to climb up into the footbridge and show you. Okay, time for some for some pointy finger action. The tracks to the left there go around to Seaford. This one straight on and then to the right. That's what goes down to New Haven Marine. There's a scary looking sign down there that says no public access. But mainly, can you see here, there used to be a level crossing here and that level crossing has now been removed completely. Now the signal box, Signal box is still there, but the signal box will be decommissioned. And like I say, I think that will happen at the end of November, beginning of December, which is what that sign is all about. But uh, yeah, in the distance where Marine was, uh, and the old ferry terminal, it's all gone, obliterated. It's a big pile of garbage now. Um, and I don't even know if the ghost train still runs. I might have a little, a little look on real-time trains. Yeah, there is a feeling of, it's very, um, it's quite desolate here. So I've walked up to New Haven Town, wanted to see the old signal box here as well, which I assume will also be closing as per the sign at the end of uh, November. So uh, in fact, GTR, you can have this one on me. <clears throat> Please plan ahead. There'll be no trains for four days between Thursday the 28th of November until Sunday the 1st of December. For more information, check out southernrailway.com forward slash Lewis. Just checking that I got that right. Lindy Bay. Hello. Going west is only two in the morning here today to Eastbourne, 8.16, 9.16, and then two in the afternoon. And going east as I'm doing now to Hastings, two in the morning at eight at nine, and then three in the afternoon. And I'm getting 16.01 here. That is the first afternoon stopper heading eastbound. Heavensy Bay only gets around 7,000 passengers a year. It would be quite hard to make something of this as a least used. Short platform, shelters, help point, that's it. It's a quiet one. It's definitely a quiet one. Quite similar to Pevensey Bay in terms of platform width and length and uh, basic waiting shelters uh, and another level crossing. It's almost identical to Pevensey Bay, but it gets some more regular service. Now, I do know what you're thinking. Let's go in the shelter. You're thinking from a video that's featured on visiting places with sea in their name and beach and bay. We haven't actually been to the sea yet or seen any water, so I could wait here, go back to Pevensey and Westerham, and then go east, like double back of myself, uh, or I could, and then get to Coonan Beach that way, or I can walk along the seafront to Coonan Beach. Let's do that. Welcome to the beach. So 
station. Made it to Coolum Beach with five minutes to spare. One more to go. At a quarter to six, six and a half hours after we started at quarter past eleven this morning down at Goring by Sea, we've got now is it Winchelsea or Winchelsea? Train's leaving. It's a station that gets about twelve trains a day, but uh, in the morning peak and evening peak they're hourly. The rest of the time they're like every two hours. So the next train in that direction, going up to Ashford is in two hours time. Uh, I'm gonna wait here an hour on this very deserted platform, <laughs> an hour, uh, and go back that way. And I'll go back down to Hastings and I'll use my Rover ticket to get back up towards London. Uh, that way, uh, it just remains for me to fill in and tick off the rest of my map to do a count then. Uh, Goring by C1, Durrington by C2, Shoreham by C3, uh, Seaford was 4, New Haven Harbour was 5, Pevensey Bay uh, 6, Normans Bay 7, Coudon Beach 8 uh, and Winchelsea 9. Uh, 9 stations. Ticket is worth getting if you knew that you were making, if you just get getting a return journey to anywhere on the Southern Network, obviously buying that ticket would be cheaper. But if you're making like 2, maybe 3 trips, uh, if you're out for a day, business, work, pleasure, whatever, then it would be worth investing. The trick is obviously you have to know what day you're going on so you can buy the ticket uh, in advance and then you can only use it after 10 a.m. as well. Great value for money. Uh, that's it. You can come to places such as Winchelsea. <laughs> Winchelsea? Winchelsea. <laughs> There's nothing here. <laughs> like, the, like the town is that way, but it's like it's a 20 minute walk. So I'm just gonna. Hang out here.